gotta show you guys this. Okay, so five planets, okay? Mercury, Jupiter, Venus, Uranus, and Mars were all on display Tuesday night. What a show, and it doesn't happen often, let me tell you that. But yesterday, just after sunset, these five planets were visible to the naked eye or the clothed eye. Uh, this is one of two alignments this year, by the way, with the second one coming on June 17th. Social media was a buzz last night, let me tell you, with people from all over the world capturing photos and videos of five planets aligning. So this is really cool. Check out this tweet right here of Matt, uh, Chief of Meteorologist, CBS affiliate in Arkansas, uh, and also another Matt, <laughs> Chief Meteorologist at Wink News. So we had this question earlier, or I did, Grant, yeah. because I was so confused. So you said <laughs> they were aligned. When you're thinking they're aligned, I'm thinking planets are right behind one another. But when you look at this, oh, it's upside down. The world's upside down. All right. When you look at this, it looks like you're looking up instead right. of, you would yeah. think it would be one behind the other. The solar system's so tough because you're working with all these different dimensions and relationships at times. So uh -huh. I want to try to to illustrate this a little bit. Okay. Now, let, I'm going to have our, our director in the back. He's going to zoom in here. What you're looking at here is the solar system, all right? Mm -hmm. So you've got Earth. And remember, when we're standing on Earth like this, we're not standing to the north. We're standing out into space, right? right? So right. we're standing, you know, perpendicular to the Earth. All right, so zoom in here. So we've got Earth. Now, Now we're looking at a side view of the solar system, all right? Yeah. So here we are with Earth. And then what you saw in the sky was, if I turn it just a little bit. There it all is. All right? Jupiter. Yeah. So that was the first planet that we saw. Yeah. Mercury. Venus. Uh-huh. Uranus. Uh-huh. Mars all the way at the top. And the thing that's not shown here is m the moon so close to Earth, it wow. was actually higher in the sky because it was further along in its orbit away from I the see. sun. So that's why you had that alignment. And But when you turn it on its on its axis. They're not lined up at all. They're not lined up as if they're they're all uh, lined up in space. Yeah. Literally in space. You have Jupiter way over there. Mercury, Venus, there's Earth, Mars, and you know, the you're moon, moon's, moon's right here. Right. Yeah, you're basically, right, right. it's not like we're standing on top of the Earth, yeah, but rather yeah. this is how we are yeah. looking out. Oh, that it's, way. it's a mind it's bender. Mind it's a mind bender. Oh, it really is. It, it's that. tough. But yeah. I, this, this helps answer the question. If you guys were watching at five o'clock, Jabari was trying to ask this question. It's so difficult. And, and it's hard, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Int good stuff, Jabari. But they you're do always, line up. They like, do. All the they, they do. Actually, yeah, yeah. They do uh -huh. line up, and, and that sometimes they do appear very close into yeah. in, in our, That's our so sky. Cool. It's all about the relationship to space and where we are. And I and, hope y'all understood all that. that. 